All right. So this is my one way lights are. I took a crash not that long ago, and when I crashed, um, I think the way that my board hit the pavement, it must have knocked something loose or something on my battery or something inside, you know, internally. But now when I turn on my board, this happens. So it's a uh, you sit there, try to engage it. It's not gonna engage. It won't engage. Go on your app, try to see what's going on. Boom. Get this Air 21. Uh, charger connected, please unplug uh, to ride. Well, as you see, there's no charger connected. So there should be no issue. So I did what people said you could do to try to fix this. Drain your battery all the way down to like as close as you can to zero. Let it sit on the charger for over 24 hours. I did that. That worked for the first couple times I tried. But the hell was night after that. Um, it didn't. And uh, so I had to try to find a different way to get my board to start again. So the way that I found out to get my board to start again was take a piece of a 12 gauge wire and make it straight. Go ahead and strip it. And you want to get a pretty long piece because you want to be able to put as much as that you, as you can inside where your XLR plug is. Basically you want all that copper to touch the XLR pins. So what I do, go ahead and strip that off, get a nice straight line on there, go ahead and put it down in there, push down, and go all the way around the pins. Now you want to make sure that you're touching all three pins all at the same time. If you're not, it's not going to activate your board. It has to think that it's touch it has to be touching all three pins. Kind of like it has to think that you're plugged in pretty much. Now I used to be able to just do this the XLR cable and it would start, you know, but then it would just kick off mid-ride. And now it's been doing that after I charge it and I do the full recharge, it does that mid-ride. This has been the only way I could find out to have this not happen mid-ride and be able to keep riding my board without having to send it into future motion and paying what God knows how much for a new battery or whatever the issue is going to be. So I tried to look and find a different solution. This was the only solution that worked. So make sure it's in there tight. Come over here, turn your board on. Boom, now my board's on. I hop on my board. And I'm all good. And let's just stay on and stay engaged. Just as long as you got all that touching. That's the only fix I've been able to find so far. So I can actually use my board. If you know any other fixes, let me know. But this is the only thing that I was able to find.